The Long March 5th is a Chinese rocket that was designed to be a heavy-lift launch vehicle for various space missions, including crewed missions to the Moon and Mars, and for launching large satellites into orbit. It has a maximum payload capacity to low Earth orbit of 25,000 kilograms, making it one of the most powerful rockets currently in operation. The Long March 5th is a part of China's ambitious space program, which includes plans for a permanent space station, lunar exploration, and even a mission to Mars. The Proton rocket is a Russian-made launch vehicle that has been in operation since the 1960s. It was designed to be a heavy-lift launch vehicle for a variety of payloads, including satellites, space probes, and modules for the International Space Station. The Proton rocket is one of the most reliable launch vehicles in history, with a success rate of over 90%. However, it has also experienced several high-profile failures over the years, including an explosion in 2013 that caused significant damage to the launch pad. Off of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket, carrying SES 20 and 21 for SES, the leading provider of global content connectivity solutions. The Atlas V is an American rocket that was designed and built by United Launch Alliance for launching satellites and other payloads into space. It has been in operation since 2002 and has a maximum payload capacity to low Earth orbit of 18,810 kg. The Atlas V is a highly reliable and versatile rocket capable of launching a wide range of payloads into different orbits, from polar orbits used for Earth observation to geostationary orbits used for communication and navigation satellites. It uses a unique combination of liquid oxygen and kerosene as its propellant, and is known for its high performance, efficiency, and safety record. The Atlas V is one of the most widely used launch vehicles in the world, and has supported many important missions, including the Mars Curiosity rover and the New Horizons mission to Pluto. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and... Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV Heavy rocket with NROL-71 for the National Reconnaissance Office. You are hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle ascent data. Now 20 seconds into flight, seeing good chamber pressure across all three R-68A engines. The Delta IV Heavy is an American rocket that was designed and built by United Launch Alliance for launching flight. large payloads, such as satellites and space probes, into space. It has been in operation since 2004 and has a maximum payload capacity to low Earth orbit of 28,790 kg. The Delta IV Heavy is a highly capable and versatile rocket with a unique configuration that includes three main boosters. It uses a combination of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen as its propellant and is known for its high performance, efficiency, and reliability. The Delta IV Heavy has been used to launch a variety of missions, including reconnaissance satellites for the U.S. military and the Parker Solar Probe, which is studying the Sun's outer atmosphere.
The Falcon Heavy is a rocket developed by SpaceX, a private American space company founded by Elon Musk. It is designed to be a heavy lift launch vehicle for a variety of payloads, including satellites, space probes, and even crewed missions to the Moon and Mars. It has a maximum payload capacity to low Earth orbit of 64,000 kilograms, making it currently the most powerful operational rocket in the world. You may have heard the call out on Net One. Vehicle is supersonic. Side boosters are throttling back up on power as we're through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Please be separation confirmed. Successful separation if you can hear me over the cheering. Side boosters now beginning a flip to begin returning back to Cape Canaveral. Side boosters have begun the boost back burn. The center core has throttled back up to power. Everything looking good on the flight of Falcon Heavy. The next major event main engine cutoff of the center core and separation ignition of the second stage. Bottom middle view shows the view looking up into the nozzle of the second stage engine. The Falcon Heavy consists of three reusable boosters that are designed to return to Earth and land vertically, allowing for significant cost savings in the space industry. Coming up in about five seconds here, the side booster's landing burn will begin as well. The rocket uses a combination of liquid oxygen and rocket-grade kerosene as its propellant, and has been used to launch a variety of missions, including communication and weather satellites. The N-1 rocket was a Soviet-designed and built rocket that was developed in the 1960s as part of the Soviet Union's ambitious lunar exploration program. It was designed to be a heavy-lift launch vehicle for carrying crewed spacecraft and other payloads into space. It had a maximum payload capacity to low Earth orbit of 95,000 kilograms, making it one of the most powerful rockets ever built. However, the N-1 rocket suffered from numerous technical problems during its development, and its four launch attempts between 1969 and 1972 all ended in failure. As a result, the Soviet lunar exploration program was ultimately cancelled, and the N-1 rocket was never used to carry out a successful space mission. Despite its lack of success, the N-1 rocket remains an important part of the history of space exploration and rocket development. The Energia rocket was a Soviet-designed and built rocket that was developed in the 1980s as part of the Soviet Union's space program. It was designed to be a heavy-lift launch vehicle for a variety of payloads, including crewed spacecraft and space station modules. It had a maximum payload capacity to low Earth orbit of 100,000 kilograms, making it one of the most powerful rockets ever built. The Energia rocket consisted of a core stage and four strap-on boosters, and used a combination of liquid oxygen and kerosene as its propellant. The rocket was used for a variety of missions, including the launch of the Buran Space Shuttle in 1988, which was the first and only space shuttle launch carried out by the Soviet Union. However, the Energia rocket was retired in the early 1990s due to the economic and political turmoil in the Soviet Union, and its development and operational costs were deemed too high to sustain. Three. The 
The SpaceX Starship is a spacecraft being developed by SpaceX, a private American space company founded by Elon Musk. It is designed to be a reusable spacecraft capable of carrying both crew and cargo to destinations both in Earth orbit and beyond, such as the Moon and Mars. The Starship has a maximum payload capacity to low Earth orbit of over 100,000 kilograms, making it one of the most powerful spacecraft ever developed. It consists of a spacecraft and a rocket booster, both of which are intended to be fully reusable. The Starship uses a combination of liquid methane and liquid oxygen as its propellant, which is a more sustainable and affordable option than traditional rocket fuels. SpaceX plans to use the Starship to launch commercial satellites, resupply the International Space Station, and eventually transport humans to other planets. The Starship is currently undergoing extensive testing and development, and SpaceX hopes to achieve its first crewed mission in the coming years. Sound suppressor water now flowing 15. under the ML. And here we go. 10, Hydrogen burnoff igniters initiated. 10, 7, 6, 5, 4 stage engine start. 3, 2, 1, boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis 1. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. The Space Launch System is a rocket being developed by NASA, the Space Agency of the United States, as part of its efforts to send humans back to the Moon and eventually to Mars. It is designed to be a heavy-lift launch vehicle for carrying crewed spacecraft and other payloads into space. The first uncrewed test flight of the SLS and Orion, known as Artemis 1, is planned for November 2021, with the first crewed mission expected to follow in the coming years. The Saturn V was a rocket developed by NASA, the Space Agency of the United States, as part of the Apollo program to send humans to the moon. It was one of the most powerful rockets ever built, with a maximum payload capacity to low Earth orbit of 140,000 kg. The Saturn V was used to launch the Apollo spacecraft on a variety of missions, including the Apollo 11 mission in 1969, which was the first time humans landed on the moon. The Saturn V consisted of three stages, with each stage being powered by a combination of liquid oxygen and kerosene as its propellant. After each stage was spent, it was jettisoned and fell back to Earth or into the ocean. The Saturn V it was retired in 1973 after the last Apollo mission, but it remains an important part of the history of space exploration and rocket development.